What's going on guys? Today I wanted to make a quick video talking about the best drop spots in Chapter 5 for Fortnite. If you guys found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, helps me out a ton. Let's get right into it. Quick disclaimer guys, I'm not ranking these in any particular order. I'm just going to list off five different drop spots that I think are very strong this season. So with the first one, I'm going to say it's Rebels Roost, and I know this is a name POI, but hear me out. NPC that spawns here sells a grapple blade, which is an unlimited use mobility item. Really good for zero build. Still okay for builds. I'd still recommend dropping there. There's a room inside a rebel's roost that has weapon caches. So there's a potential for a guaranteed sniper every single game. And then when you decide to leave rebel's roost to let's say third party lavish, on the way there, there is a vault. So if you kill the NPC, get the key card, go into the vault, you get a guaranteed legendary chest. And there's also potential for a weapons mod bench spawning inside of the vault. So in theory, you can get a fully kitted inventory before you even decide to third party lavish. So that is why Rebels Roost is going to make it on the list. Next up, I'm going to put the subway that is southwest of Classy Courts. Now, this is a great spot if you need to pull off from Classy Courts because you're being contested or for some reason you want to use it as a solo or duo drop spot because there is guaranteed cars that spawn there as well as a guaranteed mending machine, which can give you four big pots. Not only that, but there is a good amount of floor loot, good amount of chests, train passes through there as well. You can decide to go to either lavish or classy after you're done looting there, or you can decide to go north and there is an NPC that sells rifts and you can use the rift to go to whatever POI you want, third party, wherever you want from there. That's why I'm going to put this subway station next on the list. All right. Now, next up at number three, we have slightly north of Hazy Hillside. There is an underpass and with a house on the very top of it. So if you land at this house, there is some floor loot, possibly a chest on the outside of the house. And then once you go inside, there is a zip line that goes straight down. You take the zip line that goes straight down. And there's an NPC here that sells grapple blades and riffs. Not only that, but there is also a lot of coolers, a lot of chests, a lot of floor loot and also barrels that spawn there so potentially you can get full shield before you even decide to rift out of there and third party let's say hazy or even fencing or whatever you may decide but you can leave here with full shield and mobility so i'm putting it on the list all right now at number four we got the supply factory and this is between three big pois it's going to be between snooty it's going to be between fencing and it's going to be between pleasant so if you land here, there will be an NPC that sells med kits and flow berries and potentially a snowball launcher. I'm not sure if that's going to be removed or not. Not only that, but there's supply drones that fly around and you can knock them down for better loot. A lot of kids usually contest here, so you got to be mindful of that. But there's also cars that spawn there. There's a reboot van. And if you go across the supply factory, there's going to be another building. And if you take the zip line down from this building, there's going to be Agent Jones and a little subway tunnel and there's going to be guaranteed weapon caches so potentially a purple sniper blue sniper whatever it may be out of those weapon caches and then you can decide to third party whichever big poi for whatever medallion you may want and that is why i'm putting the supply factory at the fourth spot last but not least we have the best drop spot of them all i genuinely feel bad telling you guys this because this is my ranked squads drop spot this is a spot where we know for sure that we're gonna have the highest potential for winning games and this is going to be south of fencing at the very edge of the map. There's going to be these houses and at the houses, not only is there a bunch of floor loot, a bunch of chests, there's guaranteed cars that spawn there. There's a reboot vent that is right nearby. There is at the terminal, there is a mending machine there that's going to give you guaranteed big pots and med kits. Not only that, but if you decide to go more south on the zip line, there's a little island and on that island, there is chests. There is chests in the sand that you can dig out about three to five of them. Then there's a bunch of fishing holes that you can use to get shield fish or floppers. And then there is a launch pad that can take you to two more unnamed POIs that are stacked with loot. The only thing that this place is missing is a weapons mod bench, but that is fine because you can come out so stacked that you can literally third party fencing and then you can mod your weapons there and just be fully kitted for the rest of the game. So that is why this spot is taking the last spot on the list. It is so good. I'm not even joking. Please don't go there. I'm going to be upset but it is the best spot. <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, once again, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you found any success in any of these drop spots. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.